Hello everybody, welcome back to Yannis Cake Tips again. Thank you so much for joining me. I have to make a beach cake, which I've done a few times before. I don't want to repeat that again, but this time this cake will have a beach chair in the scenery. So that's why I like to take this opportunity. I like to show you how to make a very practical, realistical, in proportional uh, sugar beach chair as a tutorial today. Let me start from the, all the tools and material and recipes and ingredients uh, as a beginning. So uh, I have here a beach chair picture that is very nice, very clear colors, but because the picture taken from the angle, I can't read the exact measurements. So that's why I like to look at this and draw another sort of like a, a plan on the same paper right now after this uh, stage. So I use always corrugated cardboard pieces to do things, uh, to cut things and place things on and let it dry. So it is very practical. And also if I have to use some realizing chocolate or anything like glue, I will also use a piece of uh, cellophane sheet underneath so the glue doesn't really uh, work with the uh, sort of glue on the, on the cutboard. So it is moving. I like to secure that first, just as a first step. All right, it's done. Uh, I told you about that. And then this is my PVC pipe to roll the pastillage. And I have a little ruler. I use always transparent rulers because it's very practical. If you're placing like multiple lines, you can move the ruler forward. And after that, you have this still the line underneath. All right. Uh, I need this pen to make the plan. A little scissors, maybe. And this is very important. I have a wire. Uh, for the moment, you may think about why you need to have wire because it's everything sugar you will see that is a very, very important reason. Uh, we're not gonna use this wire as a final product, but I will use the help from this wire to hold things in place. And I have a craft knife, uh, or you can call like a box cutter. It's a very clean cut for pastillage. I use egg white for a glue. Egg white, if you give enough time, work as a super glue. And a water spray, I will need it to make some layering for red and black. I have oil spray instead of starch to rolling pastillage. And you know this one I just used, uh, sticky tape. So as a uh, sort of like a food part, I have a white pastillage. I have sort of light brown orange pastillage, which represent uh, like a uh, sort of like pine color wood. And I have also red. So the white and red will be used on the cloth part. And then this one used on the wooden part. So let me clear and I like to show you how I make my drawing. Okay, uh, basically, as I said, because it is uh, the photo taken from the side way, from the angle, I cannot understand the, the size of this and I will not have sort of like idea of uh, a lot of measurements here beside that this one. So this is actually the length of the, uh, the first big bar. It is also from angle a little bit. So I would go for exactly the same size, doesn't matter. So this is about uh, 16 centimeter. Let's say if we look at the chair from this way, I will see something about like this, about this way here. And then I have here, this one like that. And then it will go like this. This is a little bit more backwards than here, about here, like that. Okay, maybe, maybe there, all right. And after that, we will have connection between here and there. All right, maybe like this. So, okay, I have my directions ready. So let me draw from here, about 16 centimeters. There. And then next line is around here. Something about that size. I'm gonna make it roundish here, roundish there. And after that, we're gonna go uh, this is a bit shorter, of course, maybe about 10 centimeter. So that goes to, that's to floor space. So that is the floor. And then that will be about 10. Let's say about let's make 11. That's there. And then you can see why I like the transparent ruler. That was 11, like that. 
and then we will have this part go somewhere around like this yes this also around all right now when we look at the this way here we will have one piece there and one piece there to connect the uh, what they call the cloth and then there will be connection here and connection actually there's no connection here because it's like moving part but I will do it fix of course so connection here connection there and of course after that we will have one more line one more line here so normally that is to go inside of this sort of staircase look uh, cut but I'm not gonna uh, sort of like a, uh, cut anything because it will take the integrity of this uh, uh, line I want to keep that strong enough so that is the side view and then after that uh, uh, sorry I have a mistake here that is not here that is here oh yeah that's correct that is this one that's this one and that is that one that's correct and there's one more here in this area that's correct all right this is actually connecting the both sides all right so then we will have a cloth goes all the way like this and now we will turn around glue it here and also we'll turn out and glue it there something like that all right so and probably the cloth goes a little bit more deeper and more stronger straight here all right if you look at from the top view what will happen here what we set now we have the measurements we can take that is the uh, 16 centimeter one here that's the thickness of the sugar piece that is straight and then I think in between I like to use around sort of like let's say seven centimeter all right so that is the 7 cm and that's the 7 cm and we have exactly the same way we're going to do one more line here all right so that's one that's another one so this is the piece that I have to prepare one and then here here all right now if we look at this part here uh, that is exactly on the, the six centimeters there is a connection so I will go from here six centimeter which is this one here I like to put my six centimeter connection here all right and then uh, that is uh, this one is how much is 11 and half 11 and half I like to put this one uh, 11 and half right here like that so that is 11 and half go further almost touching but slightly smaller this one here and then just get the straight line here to understand where it stops where it starts okay this one there and there and there all right with us okay the center part here has this one to put the cloth one here this is a drawing if this chair is flat and put on the t on the ground so that's how it look like all right and then uh, what else this one here mm. there will be connection somewhere around here because it is like another two centimeters from behind there's a connection here all right and then there we don't need to do anything because we have the bar we have to put this bar later on all right but we have to put one there to put one there all right so that will be there will be connection here 
connection there and there and there. All right. So um, this frame is done. This frame is done. Extra line coming later on here, exactly here, but not exactly inside. I'm not going to glue this one at the moment. Maybe later we're going to put on it. All right, like this, but not connected. Here, not connected, not glued, separate. All right. And uh, what else? Okay, then we have from here to here, that is also a separate piece, which is about five and a half centimeter, which will be here, five and a half, five and a half, and that will be two piece times two. All right. That is times one, times one, and then this frame is times one, and this frame is times one. Okay, let's check one more time. That is the uh, chair in that position. So we have this frame in here, one piece, and then we have this frame in here, one piece. That piece behind that holding the chair in the right position, that will come later on. We're gonna prepare and then keep it on the side. And this two piece, will be uh, the side holders. So that is all what we need. And that's the position. Uh, probably that will go for like this, something like this and like that, and then go like that. No, go up like this and then go to now like that. That's it. Now, if I work with pastillage and I have to cut multiple pieces, and I roll the pastillage first, and after that I protect the pastillage that I can keep cutting without getting any problem. So to do that, I roll the pastillage in the certain thickness that I wish, and then spray a bit of oil on top. All right. After that, I place some cellophane sheets on it. All right. So that will protect the pastillage, so we can keep doing the things in the right way. So uh, I'm going to now cut things. See how clean you can cut pastillage. So I like to do it around this size. It is about, let's see, um, it's about six millimeters. All right. Let me write over here, six millimeters. Six millimeter here. All right, now continue. Every piece we need around the same size. That passage, of course, is too much, but doesn't matter. I can just put back in the plastic bag and keep it for the next something else. All right, how many we need? One, two, three four and everything else. So that's enough at the moment. All right, cut this one straight. All right, I'll cut everything twice according to the size and also place this one over so we can follow exact the size. Okay, now that is the uh, 16 centimeter. We don't need this. This one, just cut the edges to make it nice and roundish. Right. And this part also, cut like this. That one goes here. Okay. Next one, already cut. We don't have to measure it again. All right, now, next thing is, I like to make uh, this other one, which is about uh, 11 and a half, okay? Okay, now let's do the connecting parts. 
that one is exactly seven centimeters. So I like to cut from here. It's not the same. It is okay. All right, now check what I'm doing. Egg white. Nice and generous. And the other side. And just to make sure that I have a bit more moisture here and there. Okay. And placing in here. We're going to continue doing this and then finish it off tomorrow. So it, in, till tomorrow, will be, everything will be nice and firm. We can take it in the hands and then really sort of like deal with it without any problem. Now, next one, uh, what I like to have, let me turn this upside down. Okay, like that. All right, over here, next one is, I want to have really not pressing too much because it will be working like that. So I will cut this exactly uh, as it shows here, 58 millimeters. All right. Uh, cut this piece like that. Bring it together. And 58 comes here. All right. Now I'm not getting the corners around it because it's just a connecting piece. Things are moving around a little bit, but you can always fix it nicely because you just have to do it perfectly joining together. Uh, egg white is like a, a create like a vacuum. It's just like when you're touching, it's just like a filling up the edge and it will be dry very, very nicely. All right, so this is done. This is everything done here. All right. Now, next thing is, I like to cut two of these. Just cutting like little edges. It turns like roundish. Not exactly, but it's already good enough. All right. All right. Now, this is also ready. What I like to do now, when the time comes, when we're putting this together, we're going to um, get this some sort of like a connecting and then holding, all right? I'm going to use this wire for a temporary and after that I remove it. So, but in order to do this, I have to make the holes already pre-sort pre of done, all right? Just hold this one over here, keep it in the center, all right? And push it, all right? That's already done, all right? And then I'm going to do one more here. That's good. And then here. That's it. So it's all done. All right. And then this piece here, at the last piece here, I, I think I can measure that, no problem. Because if I take from from uh, from here to there, which is about 67, 67 millimeters, I think it will be just right. 67, or it goes to all the way in the middle here. That's correct, 67. 67, all right. I cut one more piece, then we have nothing to do anymore about this cutting piece pieces. What I like to do, that's also the, the other piece, which is we have to keep it separate, all right? So what I like to do, I'm gonna cut a couple of more lines just in case that something breaks and I can fix it. And then after that, I let it dry till tomorrow. One day passed, everything is nice and dry. Wherever that we use egg white to glue the corners, it dries like a super glue. It's very solid, very secure, and it feels very kind of like a comfortable to work with. And then uh, also the, the sticks, pasta de ash, was also very dry. 
So I can't imagine for this kind of work, any other paste than pasta diage will work properly. So uh, one thing I didn't show you, when I'm showing you yesterday to use this wire to make the holes, just passing through the uh, two of the items, uh, it was a bit thin. I'm gonna use the same wire to connect, but I think it's a good idea, uh, it was a good idea to make a, another uh, kind of like a needle or something, to make it a little bit larger like this. I use a little pin here and that the wire will go very nice and freely to the other side, all right? So uh, what we're going to do now, uh, I'm going to connect them together with this wire. An alternative way, if you don't want to use this wire, so uh, w what I'm using wires, just to hold pieces together. After the, uh, we're going to glue it with the egg white and a little bit of also realizing. And after the gluing and, and drying finish, I will remove the, of course, the, the wire uh, after that. So I need six corners to join. So I like to cut them on six pieces like this, small pieces. All right. So as an alternate way, you can also use spaghetti. So two pieces together, wherever it comes together, you can use the spaghetti in between. Uh, spaghetti doesn't break. It breaks like this, but if you do it like that, it's not going to be break. It will be strong enough. So I'm going to use wire. You may also use, if you like, spaghetti to join those corners together. All right. Now, what we see here, we have to get this one out. All right. And then uh, turning like this. And then putting like that. All right. That's actually the first, first step to do. All right. So I like to use one of the wire here. Pass through here. That's it. And then after that, I'm gonna just bend it together like this without forcing too much. All right, make sure it stays in the right position. And I use another one. That's it. Just bend together. That's already worked. Right. How does it do? Like that. All right. That's like this. So when we put this together this way, like we see it on the drawing. Those ones comes together here. All right. Basically, we are not doing anything else than a chair maker will do. You make sure that you choose the wire flexible enough that you can turn, you can twist without forcing the, the sugar part. That's it. So the chair is actually in a place now. This way. This way. Okay, so all what we have to do now, we have to uh, roll this red and white pasta yash, and then uh, putting the as a cloth in the place, just like the chair maker will do. All right. So when I look at this drawing here, uh, I'm having this part, and I have to put another three centimeter here to extension to fold underneath and glue it with the egg white. Same thing for this. I'm going to calculate how tall is this. I can do this one with the wire here. Let's say like this, turning like this. This is exactly actually what I'm looking for. Something about this size. Do it again. I want to have a turn like this. Turn around, stick it on the other side. Still a bit too much. Let me see. This is enough. That's the size. If it's too long, we can cut still again. So I'm going to now get myself ready and rolling the red and white pasta just and show you a very special way how to do it properly. I start from the white, not to stain the table with red. All right. 
I think we should cut just a half, should be enough. All right. Give a good knit. Bit of oil. Let's see the size of the, the wire. I'm just doing like this to measure the size. Yeah, that's good. That should be good enough. Right, put this on the side. Approximately the same amount. I also take the red one. Good. All right. A little bit of water. Just a little bit. A little bit. Put this in here. All right. And after that, what I do, I cut in half. Turn this way. Put it on. All right. Make sure it's like same level. All right. Press a little bit more. Now, now what we do, we cut this a comfortable size first, this way, okay, and I have here my cellophane sheet, put a little bit of oil on it, okay, all right, that is straight, so, Tell you what, I cut first a clean slice to start with, All right? This is gone. I wasn't correct enough. Just one more time, yeah. After that, I remove and I go about two millimeter behind. Just this. Right. Clean the knife. Clean the knife. First one. Okay, second time. It's a little bit fiddly, but at the end of the result, it will be fantastic. Slowly. Okay, that's probably more than enough. Putting this one here. All right, now, this is what we do. Put a bit of oil. Right, next one on top. After that, you can do this. I'm sure you remember my slice fondant method, so pretty much the same thing. Right. We don't need the whole lot. I just want to make sure that the the part will be nice and straight. Right? All right. When cut this off, we don't need it. That's beautiful. Push this on, straight, straight, and measure how much we need. The small side is our measurement, it's about 5.5, okay? 5.5 means I have to cut the from the red one to the edge. 
this is my border. All right. Our size is here. And here. Okay. Now, what I like to do, I'm going to take this and turn the other side. This is also nice. Okay. I'm going to cut the end bit of this uh, of this uh, cellophane sheet. It's already cut in a way. Right. And this one. That will help me to lift up and then put it there. All right. So, I'm going to put a little bit of egg white here. And a little bit of egg white here. At the same time, I'm going to put a little bit of egg white here. And here. Let's go. And around, placing there. Turn the turn the cellophane sheet around, and glue it. And this one. That's it. I'm going to take some time now to make it nice joined together and remove the cellophane sheet. Okay, this is how you glue it. So wherever that touching point together, you squeeze a little bit of royal icing in between, all right, like this, like that, and like that. And after that, wherever the touching really absolute, you don't have to put any royal icing. Then after that, you take a uh, egg white, and then just go in between, make sure that that egg white really works in between these joining points. And also that royal icing help to connection properly, all right? So, um, where it is? Here's some more. Egg white, egg white. So, like it has happened last night, when the everything nice and dry, you can remove the, the wires, then you have everything is perfectly glued. So, it is ready. I just removed the sheet over here, the cellophane sheet. It's all in place. It stays nice together. So, uh, our bit chair is ready. I think it will make a lot of uh, change or make it nicer the cake that which I use uh, for a beach cake. So if I would be you, what I would do, I would uh, prepare the sticks uh, much earlier and put them in the boxes, nice and dry as a set of sticks as you see it in this set. And then whenever you need it, you can put them together without worry about the time. So um, that is how you work with pastillage because you need to dry them for a day. So you better do them ready before needed. So it's ready to use it. Uh, that is all from me guys. Thank you so much for watching me. God bless you all. Until to my next tutorial. Bye for now.